Hello, Chloe. This is section 7-1. Um, we're going to get through all of these notes today, but I think then, are you guys listening? Yep. Section 7-2. We usually take two days to do, okay? Let me let me uh, give you some background information. 7-2 is when we are adding and subtracting rational expressions, and 7-1 is when we are multiplying and dividing. Now, this always gets me every year because I'm like, why would we multiply and divide before we add and subtract? This, we take two days to do, so that means it's harder. And it's the second section. This, we only take one, to do, one day to do, and it's the first section, so it's obviously easier, right? How the heck is it easier, okay? Rational expressions are like fractions, basically. So let me give an example of why adding and subtracting fractions is harder than adding or than multiplying and dividing fractions, okay? So when we're adding and subtracting, like 1 half plus 2 thirds instead of 1 half or my, uh, times 2 thirds, what do you have to do when you're adding and subtracting? Same yeah, a, a same denominator. So we have to change those. So two and three, if those are my denominators, we're going to switch those both to be six. sixes. Okay, so six and six, all right? If I take uh, and make this six, this two has to be multiplied by three. So I have to multiply the one by three. So this is three over six, right? Doesn't three over six reduce to one half? Okay, this guy we multiplied by two, so this would become four, right? And if I add those together, that becomes what? <coughs> 7 over 6, right? It doesn't become 7 over 12, right? The bottom number stays the same number, but 7 over 6. Got it? Okay? That is a lot harder of a process than, uh, than multiplying and dividing because when you multiply and divide, all you do is multiply those top numbers and multiply those bottom numbers, and then you reduce. But we are going to get into the habit of reducing first before we multiply and divide, okay? Because it makes it easier, all right? So when we reduce, here are the rules. You can reduce if they are on top of each other, like those two. I could reduce if they're on top of each other over here, or I could do the butterfly thing, where if these two numbers can be reduced, I can do that, or these two numbers can be reduced, I can do that. What you cannot reduce would be like these two. If those two can be reduced, I don't care. I have to have one in the top and one in the bottom, right? I can't have both of them be in the top and reduce both of them in the top, or both of them be in the bottom and both of them reduce in the bottom. Got it? Okay, so here, what can you reduce here? Two and two. two and two, right? If I divide both of them by two, this becomes a one and a one. Got it? Okay, now that's all that I can do to reduce. Now I just multiply across. So one times one is one, and one times three is three, and that's all. You see how that's a lot faster than the process of adding and subtracting? Boo. That's what we're going to be doing tomorrow, starting tomorrow, okay? Um, we, we take two days to do that. But multiplying and dividing is a lot easier of a process. We are doing this not just to normal fractions like you did like in like fourth grade, but we're doing this to these things, okay? X minus 3 and X minus 5. Now, things to remember is that X minus 3 is a group. Like that is one chunk together. Same thing with X minus 5. That is a chunk that is trapped together. We call these trapped I don't know, I call them trapped, okay? They are trapped together. So if you are going along and you are trying to cancel this X with this one, that doesn't work. You can't cancel those X's because they are trapped with their number, right? If you are adding and subtracting, that makes them trapped, okay? If this was like 3X over 5X, that would not be trapped. So I'm gonna say not trapped, okay? What could you do to 3X over 5X if you were trying to reduce? Maybe nothing. Could you do anything to 3x over 5x? <coughs> Could I cancel these x's off now? Yeah, and just make that 3 fifths? Sure. Those are not trapped anymore. The 3 and the 5 kind of are multiplied, or like the 3 and the x are multiplied together. Multiply doesn't make them trapped. Only adding and subtracting by 3 and 5 and those things can be make them trapped. Make sense? Okay, let's go down here and let's just jump right into our first example. They are not having us multiply yet. They are just saying simplify. So this is one chunk right here with a bunch of little chunks inside of it. And we're going to break stuff down and we're going to try to see if we can uh, like, like do stuff, okay? So over here off to the side, let me talk about breaking down. We've done this breaking down before. Things that you can do to break stuff down. There are like four things to breaking things down. It's called factoring, okay? The last one is a complex trinomial. I'm not going to give you any of those, okay? 
I won't give you any complex trinomials, but I will give you the other three. The other three is a greatest common factor. You remember that? I'm going to give you an example here in a second. Second one is a difference of squares. Third one is a simple trinomial. Okay, and I'm going to give you examples of those. And then complex trinomial, I won't give you any of those today. Okay, so you won't have any complex trinomials on your homework assignment. Got it? Let's do some examples. Like a GCF, let's say I have x squared minus 4x. Okay, and I want to factor something out. What can you factor out of those? I'm going to take an x out, right? And if you take an x out, you don't throw it in the garbage. He comes out front. And if you take him out front, what's left over? X minus 4, okay? We're going to be breaking stuff down that looks like this, okay? Difference of squares, an example of that would be like x squared minus, let's say, 16. Okay, when you factor a difference of squares, you have two pieces. You remember doing this one? The square root and the square root. Okay, what's the square root of x squared? X goes here, what's the square root of 16? Positive 4 and negative 4. So 1's plus, 1's minus. And it doesn't matter which one comes first, obviously. Uh, but you break them down like that. That's a difference of squares, okay? Simple trinomial example of that would be like um, x squared minus 5x minus 24, let's say. That one's kind of a hard one. Okay, here, am I going too fast? What? No? Okay, here, when you're doing this, you are trying to multiply to get negative 24, but when you add them, give you negative 5. Give me two numbers that multiply to get 24 and add to get 5. 8 and 3. So she says 8 and she says 3. Which one's positive, which one's negative, or maybe both of them? Positive. Negative 8, positive 3, because I want them to be negative 5 when I add them, right? Do you remember doing this? Taking you back a little bit? We're going to have lots of practice with that today. Woo. Especially simple trinomials. Lots of those, okay? So these are strategies for breaking things down. All right, so we're going to go back over here and we're going to simplify this thing. I just go through step by step by step and I just look at each chunk and say, can it be broken down? So 5x to begin with. Can you do anything with 5x? No. no. Now, I had somebody say, and I think uh, like I just saw Mallory trying to do this. She said you could distribute it through, which you certainly can. Like that would like simplify the top and get rid of the parentheses, but we want to try to break it down so we can cancel stuff. So we're going to leave it broken apart. I get it. Yeah. Now this one right here, so let's move on to the next chunk. This thing is a simple trinomial, right? What can you multiply to get three, but when you add them, give you four? Three and one. So x plus three, x plus one. Three times one is three, and three plus one is four. That'll work. Okay. My top is done. Are we doing okay so far? The bottom, x minus six. What can you do with that? Nothing, so we leave it, right? X minus 6 is broken down. He's got nothing to do with. What about X squared minus 9? He's a difference of squares, okay? Difference of squares is two pieces. How does X squared minus 9 break down? X plus 3 and X minus 3, right? 3 and negative 3 make 9, or negative 9, I guess. Do you see how that works? Now, we can go through and cancel only if the groups are exactly the same. Like x plus 3, this guy right here, cannot cancel with the x minus 3. He has to only cancel with the other x plus 3. So I'm going to cancel those off. But since that whole chunk is the same, I can cancel them off. Anything else? No. No. So you know what our final answer is? 5x times x plus 1 over x minus 6 times x minus 3. And I won't even make you foil it back out again. You can just leave it like that, right? You don't have to distribute or foil anything. You leave your answer like that. Happy with that? Yeah. Yeah. So you're just breaking stuff apart and canceling is what, whatever, whatever you can. Okay, part B, though, says this. Under what conditions is this expression undefined? Okay? When we talk about undefined, we never, ever, ever want to divide by zero, right? You remember that? We never yeah. want to have zero on the bottom. Okay, so when I'm looking at this, I don't care about this x plus 1. He's okay. And I don't care about this 5x. That's fine. Okay? But I want to worry about this x minus 6. Okay? So if I have x minus 6, what can x not be? Zero. Minus positive six. The plus x couldn't be positive 6 because if he was, I would have 6 in that spot. 6 minus 6 gives me 0. I don't want 0, right? 
Okay, so X can't be positive 6. What about for this one? X can't be positive 3. If I plug a 3 in there, 3 minus 3 is 0. I don't want 0. I say X can't be 3. So when it says under what conditions is the expression undefined, we don't want 6 and we don't want 3. And that's what I write for an answer. Oop, don't want. Okay? No 6s and no 3s can we have. We can have any other number for X, but no 6s and no 3s. Got it? Good? Okay, let's go to this one. This is another one where we're going to break stuff down. Now, here's the deal. These two are simple trinomials. We're going to break him down. But x squared and 4x, those ones are not trapped at all. Like the 4 and the x together, those are multiplied. It's not like 4 plus x where those are trapped as one group. Okay? 4x can cancel stuff, right? If I look at x squared and 4x, can I cancel anything? If I just had x squared and 4x. x squared means x times x. So I have two x's on top, right? Two x's on top. Can I cancel that, like right. this x with one of these? Okay, yeah. Can I do that? Yep. Like that x will cancel? So what's left over on the top? X. x and what's left on the bottom? Four. Four. Do you see that? Those are not trapped together, right? Unless there's a plus and a minus sign, they're not trapped together. So we can just do that, okay? All right, this guy right here is a simple trinomial, so we're going to break him down. Multiply to get negative 14, but when I add them, give me negative 5. Any ideas? 7 and 2, seven and two okay? Negative seven. negative 7 and positive 2. Negative 7 and 2 make negative 5. I agree. Okay? All right, let's go to the bottom now. This is also a simple trinomial. Whoop. Multiply to get 8 and add to get 6. Positive 2 and positive 4. And it doesn't matter which one you write first. Okay? Got it? Okay, now? The x plus 2s can cancel, right? Because they are exactly the same. Anything else that will cancel? Nope. So on the top, we have x times x minus 7. You don't have to multiply them back through. If you do, it's not a big deal. Okay? But uh, I'm just going to be lazy because we can be lazy, right? And that is that. Okay, that's my final answer. But it wants to know, where is this undefined? So what do I want to make sure x is not equal to? Seven. Now, 7, okay, Delaney, I like that answer. I'm glad you said that. If I have 7, 7 minus 7 will give me 0, but 0 is in the top. Can you have 0 on the top? Yeah. Yes, I just don't want to have 0 on the bottom. Minus 0. So I have to worry about this guy right here, and in particular, really this right here, right? What would make that 0? Toby said? I don't want negative 4, because if I plug negative 4 in there, negative 4 plus 4 would give me 0, right? It's like the opposite sign of what that little bit is, okay? So x can't be negative 4. I don't care about the top. I just want to make sure the bottom is not 0, okay? Good? All right, now let's go down. We're going to skip example 3, okay? Let's go to multiply and divide. Let's actually do some multiplication and division, okay? Here we go. All right, I'm going to look at example four. These are the only two that we're going to do left. Um, this bottom part, example six, I'm going to have those be bonus. So I'll show you at the end here how you do those, and then you'll have a couple bonus problems on your homework. But example four and example five, this is what we're going to get through, and then we'll be done. Okay? Let's look at these four problems. So we have A and B and A and B here, and let's talk about, like, the differences between these guys, right? This one we are multiplying. Do you see that dot? Okay? This one we are dividing. Yeah? Here we are multiplying again, and here we are dividing. But let's talk about, like, what we're multiplying and dividing. Okay? These guys right here. Oh, let's, let's go down. Let's go to the bottom ones. These guys right here, those are trapped together. Do you see that? Because x minus 8, anytime you have minuses and plus signs, those are trapped together. Like, if I'm going to cancel x minus 8, I have to cancel x minus 8, and I have to cancel another x minus 8 down here. Like, that's how it has to work. I cannot... Cancel. Whoop. I cannot cancel like this x with this x, right? Because they're trapped. I can't do that. That doesn't work. Okay? So I'm going to put a t next to this guy because he is trapped. I have to make sure that if I'm going to cancel, I cancel it in chunks, right? The chunks have to be the ones to cancel. Okay? So he is trapped. Let's go over to this one. <coughs> B, right next to him, this is example 5. Is example 5B, is he trapped? No. Why is he trapped? Because mm -hmm. no. the pluses and minuses, they're everywhere. Like it's linking all of the things together and they are all in chunks. 
So we're just going to have to break down and we're going to have to cancel stuff, right? Okay, those are trapped. Okay, up above, these guys. Are these guys trapped? Like I see a D here and I see two Ds here. Can I cancel one of those? Can they go freely? Can they like cancel out? There's no pluses and minuses trapping them together. So can I cancel like this D with one of these? Right? Yeah, sure I can. That's what we're going to do, okay? We're going to do that here in a minute. What about B? Is he trapped or not trapped? No. <laughs> no, he can cancel freely because he doesn't have pluses and minuses, right? No. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put an NT here. So not trapped. He can, I can just cancel to my little heart's desire. I can cancel as much as I want, right? Trapped and not trapped. So these ones are not trapped and not trapped, okay? All right, when you're doing these top ones, I have a strategy, okay? And if you do it the way that I tell you to do it, you won't screw up. <sighs> Hopefully. Hopefully. Somebody will find a way. Remington will find a way. All right. Number one, <laughs> the first thing that I do when I am solving things that are not trapped together and I'm multiplying or dividing is I reduce any numbers. I reduce any numbers, not exponents, the numbers that are in front. Okay? That's what I do. I reduce any numbers that are in front. Okay? So I'm looking at this 6 and this 15 and this 5 and this 8, and I'm looking to reduce them or cross anything out that I can. Okay? What shall we reduce? 15 and 5. Okay, 15 and 5 becomes a 1 and a 3 yes. if we divide by 5, right? Six. 1 and 3. Okay? Can the 6 and the 8 reduce? Yes. Okay? You're going to divide by 2. If I take 6 divided by 2, that is 3, and I take 8 divided by 2, that is 4. Okay, question. Can I reduce these 3s? How's it come? They're both on top. I have to do one top, one bottom. Okay, anything else I can reduce? No. Okay, my very next step, I understand that you can cancel this D with one of those, right? Or you can do some canceling with some uh, uh, like variables and stuff. But at a certain point in time, when I start canceling, 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 I like lose track of like where my handwriting even is like whatever. So the very next step that I do is I clean it up. I clean it all up first before I cancel any variables. I take care of the numbers first, then I clean it all up, okay? So on the top, my number, 3 times 3 is 9, okay? Then let's look at the variables. I have a C here and a C here and a D here, right? So I have C squared, D squared. That's what I have on the top. Got it? On the bottom, I have 1 times 4, which is 4. And then I have D and A. So if you want to put them in order, A, D, that's fine. It doesn't, it's not wrong if you put it D, A. <coughs> but I always put them in order. Because that also allows the Ds to be on top of each other, right? Like two Ds on top, one D on bottom. Got it? Okay. 9 and 4 should be reduced at this point, right? We can't cancel anymore, right? Um, can you cancel any of the C's? No. No. Can you cancel any of the A's? No. But you can cancel the D yeah. values, right? Yeah. So I have a D on the bottom, and then I've got a D and a D here, right? That's what D squared is. I can cancel one of those. Got it? So final answer, 9, C squared, D on the bottom, 4A. Anything else? No. Nope, that's all. Okay. <laughs> Well, I have All right. To, like, this Good. Step, I have to like reduce. You have to. You have to pay attention. What's up? Like eighty-five. This is a good one. Next test, I have to get back a ninety-five. So I have to find another. Right. Okay. Part B. Here we go. This is just one slight difference because this symbol is division. <laughs> We are dividing here, okay? Have you guys ever heard the words keep, flip, flip before? No. Keep? Haven't. You haven't. Oh, I know. You haven't, Gordon. She took my water okay? bottle. Keep, flip, flip. Here we go. KFF. Keep, flip, flip. All right. I want to I get done with this early. Here we go. Keep, flip, flip. So when you are dividing, listen. When you are dividing, you have to keep, flip, flip. So the part that you keep, you keep this one. 18, I'm just going to write right below it. I'm keeping that exactly the same. He gets kept and he stays exactly the same. Okay? Then the next thing I do is flip. What do you flip? The sign. The sign right here. Division flips and it becomes? Multiplies. Multiplies. So I'm going to put a little multiplication symbol. You can do a, uh, an X or a dot. I'm going to do a dot just because we have X's as variables. And then it looks weird. So anyway. And then the last thing that you flip is? This guy, this guy gets flipped so that the 35 is on the top. 
When you are dividing by a fraction, it's called multiplying by the reciprocal. We reciprocate it, which means we flip it, right? So we are multiplying by the reciprocal. Any questions about keep, flip, flip? No. Whenever you're dividing, always keep, flip, flip. You change it, right? You flip it, okay? All right, now, step number one we said was reduce the numbers. So I'm looking at the numbers 18 and 35 and, and 12 and 7, okay? What can you reduce? Six. 18 and 12. Okay, so 18 and 12, if we're dividing by 6, that is 3, three and, two, and two, 2, right? Divided by 6, that's 3 and 2. What about 7 five and 35? And one. Yeah, so if we divide by 7, this is 1 and 5. Anything else that can be reduced? All right, let's clean it up. That's what I do. You are more than welcome to cancel things if you want to cancel it here, but it just makes it really messy if it's a lot of canceling, and then people get lost uh, when they're doing that. So on the top, what number do you have to begin with? 15. 15. 3 and 5 makes 15. Got it? Okay. Let's go in order. So we go A, a squared B, X, X y, y to the third. Okay. On the bottom, the number that we two. have is 1 times 2, two. which is 2. Okay. And then we've got A squared, a squared B squared, B squared, y squared X squared, yeah. Y. Okay. Yeah. Now yeah. we're going to do our final step. A, a I didn't list a final step over here. Number three, finish canceling. If you need a final step, finish canceling. Cancel. I don't know. Does canceling have two L's? I don't know. After you clean it up, clean up, finish canceling your variables. Okay, finish canceling if you need to step three. All right, so here we go. 15 and 2 should be reduced. Got it? They are. So I'm going to leave the 15 on top. I'm going to leave the 2 on the bottom. Now let's focus on the A's. I have two A's on top and two A's on bottom. Cancel everything. They're gone. Yep. The B's, I have one B on top and two B's on bottom. Just one at the bottom. I'm going to have one left over on the bottom, right? X's, I have one on top and two on bottom. One on the bottom. One on the bottom. And the two Y's, on top. ooh. The Y's, I have three on top. So two like Y, Y, up. Y. Tell it, two Y's up. Two Y's up. Yeah. Gordon's all over it. He's like, yes, I can do this. Ha <laughs> ha. There you go. That's it. Okay. Now I'm going to test. Now you are more than welcome to cancel, cancel, cancel wherever you want to. But it makes it easier I, if you clean I, it up I first. Do, can I leave it? Would you do? What? No, I didn't multiply. That's, that's what it is. Yeah. That's the answer. That's all. I know. Okay. Good. Okay. All right. Let's go down to these ones. These ones are trapped. So. The strategy that we have going on here is breaking everything down. So like this guy right here, what is he? Number. A simple December. trinomial. We want to multiply to get 16, but when I add them, give me 6. Multiply to get 16, add to get 6. 2 and 8. Negative and negative 8. Positive 2 and negative 8 gives me negative 6 when you add them, right? Okay? Just set him aside for now. Let's go to the bottom. This is a simple, <coughs> excuse me, simple trinomial also. I want to multiply to get 64, but I add to get 16. Minus 8, minus 8. Minus 8, minus 8. Okay, negative 8, negative 8 makes 64, and negative 8, negative 8 added together gives me negative 16. Agreed? Okay, set him aside. On the top here, I have x minus 8. We just recopy him down because there's nothing he can do. Okay? Last thing on the bottom, I want to multiply. Oh, this is a simple trinomial also. Multiply to get 6, add to get 5. Okay, x, nope, I don't think that's going to work. That multiplies to give me 5, but it adds to give me 6. You're, you got to flip it around. 6 and 1? Yeah. Or 5 and 1, I mean. If it was, Remington, you're thinking of this. This would be 5 and 1. Right? Multiply to get 5, add to get 6 would be 5 and 1. X plus 5 and X plus 1. Okay? So since the 5 is in the middle, that's what we're adding to. This has to be 3 and 2, right? Okay? Yeah, that one's at 5. The 5s and 6s are tricky. So you don't want 5 and you don't want 5 and 1, you want 2 and 3. Nice. Okay, now, last thing. This is the best part. Multiply. No. Because then we're back to the now we cancel, right? Like we, we get rid of crap. So x minus 8 can cancel with an x minus 8. Yeah. <laughs> then I have another x minus 8 and another x minus 8. I have two x minus 8s on the top, two on the bottom. So if there was so only 3, 
Correct. If there was three, you would only one on the top and one on the bottom. You can. If you have a third one, you can't, right? But you can cancel like everything. X plus twos cancel also. So all that I'm left with is X plus three. Okay. Is that the answer? But hold on, hold on. Wait a second. Wait a second. X plus three is on the bottom. So if you write it like this and say that's the answer, that's wrong. I can put one. So he has to be on the bottom. What goes on the top then if everything cancels? One. One. I was right. When you reduce things, when you reduce things, it reduces to one, right? Okay. So you have to, have to, have to. If you have it on the bottom, you have to put a one on the top if everything else is gone. Easy. Okay. Smart boy. Got it. Good. Even Ben can choke. All right. Let's go to this other one. This one's a keep flip flip, right? Because we have we're dividing. So don't forget to keep flip flip. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna multitask here. We're gonna keep this guy. We're gonna flip this guy, and I'm gonna I'm gonna factor it down at the same time. Can we do that? So let's break this guy down. What's x squared minus 16? That's a difference of squares. Toby, shush. Toby. Difference of squares, x squared minus 16. He says x plus 4 and x minus 4. That's what uh, Ethan said. Okay, got it? What about this bottom one? What is that? That's, by 12. That's a greatest common factor. You can divide by 12, but we don't want to throw it in the trash. We want to multiply or take the 12 out front, right? So if you pull a 12 out front, what's left over? One. Y plus 3. Anybody have any questions about that? That's a GCF. Okay. All right. Now, we have to flip this. So that means this part is going to go on the top, right? The 18 goes on the top because we have to flip it. So that is a simple trinomial, right? Simple trinomial. Multiply to get 18 and add to get 3. What can you multiply to get 18, but add to get 3? Mm -hmm. three. 3 and 6. Three. 3 and 6, but uh, the 6 has to be negative, and the 3 has to be positive. Oh, and these are y's, by the way. y plus, or y plus 3 and y minus 6, however you want to write it. <coughs> okay, now this one, the top, went to the bottom because we're flipping, right? Yes. Okay, so what can you multiply to get 32, but when you add them, give you negative 12? Eight and four, but they both have to be negative. negative eight and negative four. Okay, we're going through these really fast. I understand that some of you guys can't break apart as fast as we can. That's fine. Take your time. Okay, but we're going kind of fast. Okay, then my favorite part: cancel, 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 cancel. So name, so give me something that cancels. X minus four minus four. X minus four. X minus four. Okay, y plus three. Y plus three. What else? Okay, question. Everybody look at this real quick. Question. Can this 12 cancel with this 6? The 12 isn't trapped. This 12 isn't trapped. But the 6 is, right? Isn't the 6 trapped with the Y? So you cannot cancel the 12 and the 6 and reduce those. Got it? Okay. All right. So on the top, all that's left is X plus 4, Y minus 6. On the bottom is 12 and x minus 8. Okay, you don't have to foil anything back out again, and there you go. Okay? We didn't go through and do the last one, but what if they ask for what x can't be? <coughs> what can x not be here? Positive 8. Positive 8. We don't care about the top. x can't be positive 8. So if they ask for that, there's that. Okay? So you're just going through, breaking stuff down, canceling things out, and writing what's left over. Okay? Uh, Got it? If no. it's division, you have to flip it. Okay? <laughs> <coughs> Can you move it like to me? Yes, 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 good. That's good. Thank you. That's good, he says. I'm getting yelled at. Woohoo. No, no, I was just like. Okay. We're going to do odd, uh, no, uh, not odds. Evens on both sides. Evens on both sides. Even? The That's bonus is 17 two? and 18. Is it too even? If you want to try 17 yeah. and 18, you can. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to talk through. Why are we laughing? On the notes, if you want to attempt the bonus, here's like a little strategy. Are you ready for this? No. If you are going to attempt the bonus, listen to this real quick. Example six. This line here in the middle is another way of saying divide. So like really what's actually happening is you got this. This is going to flip to multiplication and this guy is going to flip, right? And then you just do it like normal, right? Okay. 
17 and 18, you just flip this middle bar right here to become multiplication, right? This middle bar means divide. You're flipping it and flipping the bottom. Got it? Yeah, once you make it That's y minus x on the top, y minus <coughs> x over, or y minus x, not flip it. I, I did not do, I did not flip it. Yes. Why, why uh, did I not flip it? I don't know. You're right. There you go. Boom. Okay. Yeah, so Thank you for paying attention because I was not. So, yes, you flipped this bottom. I did not flip it. Okay? Happy with that? Making Good? Okay, and then you treat it like normal. There you go. Okay? Wonderful. All right. So, evens and evens, and then 17 and 18 are bonus, if you would like to do those. <coughs> All right. Goodbye, uh, Megan. No. No, not Megan. Chloe. I'm sorry. My brain is fried.